Hello and welcome back to round seven of the Ramsgate Rail Pool League and only frames production. Today's game sees James winging its wing, playing Chris the Dumpton Destroyer. James off the back of a resounding 7-1 win in his last game out against the cannon fodder that is Bradley Wallbanger Wall and Chris on the back of winning every single game this season. James, stop him, please. We do not want this man to go undefeated. James was at the table there, but that's an early mistake there. He'll be disappointed not to have done more. But he is back at the table again. Maybe he did part and I missed it. I am unsure of what happened there. I wasn't focusing on the action. Apologies, that won't happen again today. Chris today, who's dressed in blue. Very nice indeed. A little hooded number, Lyle and Scott. Tasty. Someone's doing okay for themselves. Walking around with a bit of swagger. This man is getting too big for his boots. If only Stormzy could have a word of him just to sort that out. Chris, once again, who's representing the Stephen Hendry watch on the wrist scenario. This will be a tricky clearance. He's got two balls close to the cushion, but he has obtained perfect position. This isn't the Chris that we are used to seeing. Taking this tricky one now up to the top right-hand cushion. Bit of screw back to play the next one down the line, I am sure. Got into that nicely. That's pretty good queuing. Yeah, really nicely on that ball, making it as easy as he possibly can to take out this clearance and go up into a 1-0 early lead. These would be good signs for Chris early doors and not what James will be wanting to see in so early in the game. Yep, Chris is just now about to dispatch the black. That's 1-0. On to frame two we go with James winging it wing at the table, looking to get this game back on an even playing field. These yellows are all there. This is about obtaining composure and keeping it throughout the opportunity. He has slightly run out of position there where the cannon didn't quite go to plan. He's gonna to need to find a good pot here to keep this visit at the table going. Yellow to the middle, looks good knuckle. Oh, that is close and that just shows you the fine margins that can be the difference between victory and defeat on this bay of green chris now one red over the hole one red middle of the table gonna require a tricky positional shot if anyone can do it it's not chris he hasn't played a positional shot in his life and that sums him up to a t however Chris does pop them off the lampshade. Just giving himself a moment here Why a player on the table next to him takes the opportunity to pot a ball himself. Giving Chris a bit of extra thinking time to come up with a plan to take this on. And after all that deliberation, he does nothing apart from push the red towards the black. But this is an opportunity, James. How are your minerals? Can you take it out? Zip! Wow, he's got into that one. All the gear, all aboard the showboat. Wowzers. He's queued that well. James does actually play with a spear tip, meaning he can get more action on the white ball. But you can't be missing them pots. This has left Chris an opportunity he was not expecting to get so soon. Chris eyeing up the double. Does it go past that yellow that's currently in the middle of the table? I believe we're about to find out. If he can play the double, chances are he will free up the back slightly as well from the cushion. Here we go, down on the shot. And he has played the double. I'm not sure it quite went. Good attempt. James back to the table once more. This now is a great opportunity for James. You need to take these when you're playing a player like Chris, as he is so clinical when he gets the opportunity. Good first pop, but would have liked to leave this a lot easier than he has. And that's a wide ball. The problem was the shot before when he didn't quite leave the white in the place that he would have hoped to. Now, Chris, Red over the hole, all about the position onto the black, cued it nicely. And yep, Chris is looking in fine form today. No doubts here, he's gonna nail this. Two nil. 
On to the third frame we go with James at the table and all the gear there, wow. And more on it than Pete Doherty has. That is lovely, but he's not left much of an angle. Gonna need to gear another ball in here. And he has rolled it in, but left no shot whatsoever. Both the reds are tied up. Manages to hit the red, but going off in the middle pocket somehow. Could that be costly? Chris with a shot and a visit, just chalking his cue before tending to the job in hand. Shot gonna look to pot James's ball and clear that bottom right pocket, which he does so. Now six yellows between him and the black ball. Gonna take the first easy one. Job nicely done, but as usual, position slightly left to be desired. He left a lot closer to the black than he would have liked. Once again, relying on his potting ability. Left the angle though. Can he free this yellow? No side. No, he can't. He is going to have another go at some point, I am sure though. That yellow by the red ball is very tricky if he wants to clear the table in this visit. Oh, and the yellow towards the middle, and that's nicely cut in. But once again, the problem is the yellow by the red Chris. And after a quick camera interlude and about 15 minutes between this shot, he is going to play the cross double. Eyes down, look in. This is close, but not close. Gets lucky there to leave the white ball hampered by the black ball for James to try and take on this now tricky red. Aiming for the top left bag. That's a cushion first. That was a tricky shot. Now, Chris with the opportunity to make it 3 0. And what would appear to be an unassailable lead if you were to go by the league table. But we don't do that because this is great. great first pop making this job exceptionally easy. But he's still doing it for the cameras. Pretending that's harder than it is. That was so easy. Even I could have potted it. 3 nil. Into the full frame and Chris with the break. We have a ball down. That ball is a yellow ball as well as a red ball, giving Chris the opportunity to continue his visit. If he can find the first pot here, I fancy him to make a clearance as this is the kind of table Chris will take out because he's not relying on position at any point. He's just going to hope to pot them from anywhere. And as usual, he runs out of position first ball. I'm still back in this man though. I think he's going to clear them. Will I be right? I doubt it because no doubt he will run out of position, although he won't even attempt to play it at any point. Chris here will be looking to take the frame to secure at least a draw from this match. Oh, he's made it a bit trickier there though. Not a nice kiss. That reminds him of his 10th birthday when Uncle Barry was a bit drunk that year and also went for a little touch. Evening, Uncle Barry. Hope you're well, buddy. Chris, take him on down to the bottom left pocket and he makes it. This now is looking like a real opportunity to make Paul the dish of the day. Two reds, one black for four nil. James is starting to realise sometimes you're the statue and sometimes you're the pigeon. And today, Chris is the pigeon. Lovely last red there. Really opened up the table and make this a glorious opportunity. Now, formality of a black for a dish for 4 0 to guarantee a point. Go home, ball. Go home, ball. It's 4 0. There's the handshake for the dish. Great respect from these two players. Chris now stripping off for the crowd, realising what the ladies out there want, or maybe the gentlemen as well. Who knows? He can appeal to everyone, and that's shocking. That's woeful. That's the real Chris that we know. He just puts on the show for the camera every now and again. James at the table, playing the reds, the colour of his 
very beautiful sneakers. Loving them treads, my son. Now, red up to the top right pocket. Big hole due to that yellow, but he doesn't need the big hole. He can pop them into anything, this guy. He's a good player, James. He hasn't shown it yet today, but this man can play. If that red goes up the top right, play it. Take it while it's there, but he's a maverick. This guy's taking on the tricky one, making this clearance even harder. But that's a lovely shot. Very nice. Formality now. Make it 4-1. Comeback could be on. Roll this in. If it goes, it's gone, I'm sure. I don't know what's happened there. That has brought the whole pub to a standstill. People have started moving again now. Thank God I thought time had frozen. I don't know what happened there. Can only have been a miscue. Chris giving a little jig there. Very nice indeed. Didn't realise he used to be a line dancer. But that was very interesting. Chris now, four euros to go, trying to cut this one into the top right pocket, too thin, that's the first time he's heard that this year, 2024 has been an enjoyable one for him by the looks of it, now James, what can you do, will he attempt the cross double, double down in the bottom left maybe, and no, but that's not the worst result, as Leafs T's left his red out in the open, should he get back to the table? Unfortunately, he's playing against Chris. And in the current form he's in, due to how much he's practicing, I may add, it's a difficult task at hand. You can't give this guy opportunities. He's a vacuum for opportunities. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is about to be fired. Black for it, 5-0. We join frame six late into the action, which would suggest it's been absolute garbage up until this point. James once again playing reds and attempting a double, but that's straightened. The harder you hit them, the quicker they will straighten. That's what my dad used to say to me anyway. Chris now, three yellows to make it six. Ah, sixer, shanna kazam. Chris there patiently waiting while a player next to him takes their shot, which I'm sure they potted. Chris, yellow down to the bottom left hand pocket. Little stun shot, little bit of side, he's disappointed. This guy, even when he pots him, he's disappointed. Don't always pretend he played a positional shot. Everybody knows you don't play them. <laughs> As you've just seen there once again, this guy's lucky he could pot. If he couldn't, he would be dog turned. That's 6 0. Once again, we're joining the action late in the seventh frame with James at the table. Oh, his head's gone. He would never miss them. Giving Chris another opportunity to make it seven. Chris really is establishing himself as the king of this pool league, which is bizarre as we all thought he had the credentials of a prince. That prince being a Prince Andrew and that was no sweat. Seven nil! On to the final frame of this best of eight. And I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, as am I, we are wishing James all the best. The crowd want to see you clear them, James. You can do it. We believe in you. And you'll never walk alone. Two reds, one black to get the first frame on the board. He deserves it. This guy can play. And that is a lovely shot. James, at the last breath, is showing us what he is capable of. Take your time. Roll this in. Larrup! Wow! He's fuming with himself. He knew that was an opportunity and he deserved the frame. Chris gets lucky to get back to this table. Will he show humility? No! This guy is ruthless. This is is a destruction oh went for something special there didn't you not so good now and the pressure's on for eight here we go james come on you can do this double anything flat get it goal in all pockets no sir chris this is for eight nil and i think this is ominous it is eight nil final score thanks for watching